Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will show how to print Control D reports to email. This video assumes that you have the SMTP started task set up and configured in your ZOS system and that you are able to email sysouts using SMTP. Let's quickly go over the requirements to be able to print Control D reports to email. As mentioned, SMTP has to have been configured and working. A logical mail printer definition must exist in CTD Parm. A print mission using the logical mail printer has been defined, and the email address has been defined in the recipient tree. Now let's go ahead and make sure those requirements have been completed in our Control D system. Let's go to our ECOS system. As you can see, we have the SMTP C2 started task. Normally, people would just call this SMTP. In our environment, we call it SMTP C2. The next item is CTD Parm. And if you can check here, we have the DEPPRTS PRT6 configured to go to um, printer 6. The destination is SMTP C2, our SMTP's job name, and the type is mail. Now let's go ahead and check for our print mission definition and the email address in our recipient tree. Let's go to our control D system equals M for our print mission definitions. We've created PRT mail as our mail print mission. As you can see, this is going to printer PRT6, which is our logical mail printer. Also, we have used the override class of B because this sysout class is what our SMTP started task is looking for and the override destination of SMTP C2. Now let's go ahead and check for the email address in our recipient tree. Let's go ahead and go to our recipient tree equals T, bring up our CTD tree, select our recipient RDC RFC. As you can see, our, my email address is on the first address line. Now that we've had all the requirements checked, let's go ahead and demonstrate how our Control D report can be printed to email. Go into equals U, bring up our report. As you can see, this report goes to our recipient, RDC RFC. Go ahead and print it specify deferred printing and make sure the print mission points to prt mail hit enter now it's on wait print go into r equals m for our um, print mission force this make sure it's running takes a few minutes after it's done, it should build the report that is going to send to the sysout and then SMTP will process that sysout and send us the email. Anytime now, I expect to get the email notification. And there it is. As you can see, we have our inventory report and it was sent to me. You can see from this email that Control D puts the report into the body of the email. You can choose to send the report as an attachment by using a different mail banner member. Let's go ahead and do that. Let us go to our Control D banner library. Select the member names. And we are going to rename our dollar mrep sta to dollar mrep old and use the dollar mrep stt as our mrep sta now that we've done that let's go ahead and reprint our report Again, it's already sent to PRT mail. 
Let's go ahead and do that. Let's reorder our mail print mission. Again, monitor it. it. Should take a few minutes again. It's building the print plan and it's building the sysout that it's going to feed to our SMTP. And SMTP will process a report and send us our email. Just gonna wait for our email notification. And you see, we got our email. And as you can see, our inventory report is now an atta attachment. That concludes our video. Thank you for your time. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.